Hi, um, I'm here to show you a video on how to use the RoboVac 2, the Xiaomi Mi um, version of the RoboVac. It's also called RoboRock 2, it depends on um, where the label is. <laughs> and it ends up that they had a first version of this was, was just a robot vacuum cleaner, but now they have one that actually has a vacuum cleaner and a mop, and so far it's been amazing. And I saw a fantastic review, so I was really keen to give it a go. And at this stage I've just vacuumed my room and it's done a great job. I'm about to launch the mop and I was looking for instructional videos and couldn't find any online so I thought I may as well make one in case anybody else is out there having a look and trying to work out how it works. So it basically comes with the Robo Rock 2, um, the vacuum cleaner and the mop system and you also have two of these uh, mop attachments and this is actually the water bucket so you have one of those and you also have couple of little bits that are going to attach the mop onto the vacuum cleaner, just little tiny um, sticky things. And then you also have this which is the charger, I'll just move this out of the road so you can see it. This is the charger, so this one is where it starts off at and it actually automatically docks itself when it's running out of batteries or if it's finished it's cleaning. It goes back in and it ends up sitting on the charger dock and works out whether it needs to be on charge or not and turns itself on and off. It's really quite intelligent. Uh, this is the waterproof bottom, so it comes separate in the pack and you can see around the edge there there's a bit that goes underneath the um, charger and this bit goes on top and you simply just line it up like a jigsaw puzzle and slide it on and you're on and you're right to go. So once you take it out of the box and you pop it on, there's a couple of things. We're going to start off by just attaching the mop um, and then I'll show you how to charge it up on there. So down the bottom here you can see there's a section that's hollowed out, that's where the mop attachment goes. Okay, so this is the bit that does the vacuuming and it collects all the dust in that section and then the mop with the water and the squidgy um, mitt thing ends up going onto this part that does the mopping. So it vacuums first and then it mops. Great. Alright, so this bit here comes just like that. I've already filled this up simply because my tap is too far away and it ends up that it's got this little um, rubber uh, plug. Simply take that out. Fill it up with some water and then you just make sure that it's sealed properly so it doesn't leak and you pop it back on. Okay, now there's a couple of little instructions in here. Uh, the first thing is that it says to keep making sure that you wash the mop cloth every 30 minutes. So once you've had a mop, um, if it's taken 30 minutes, just pop it in your machine or give it a hand wash um, and then you can put it back on. The other thing is to make sure you take away the water tank when it's uh, charging. So that's just to make sure um, that it doesn't leak on the floor, like the little drops that it has. And also if you've got a wooden floor, it recommends you use this. But I'm going to use it all the time because I can't see why you wouldn't. <laughs> and then it ends up um, the filter element. So this one here, the little, um, here it is. If this ends up being yellow, it means that you need to uh, change it. And it could be because there's not enough water coming out. Um, or uh, yeah, it's just too dirty or you want to swap it over, you've done your 30 minutes and it actually comes with two, so that's really good. And then the last thing is that it just says don't use it on the carpet. So I've actually pulled out, we had a rug in here and I've just ended up taking the rug outside, which is great, especially for the first time, I just want to have a go. So if you're just backing, you can keep your carpet in and your rugs in, but if you're doing mopping as well, you need to take it out. Okay, so we've filled up the water tank. You can see here there's a little bit of Velcro. So we're just about to pop those on and I just want to show you this because I actually dropped um, one of these and the little rubber bit came out and I've just worked out how to put it back in. So if this happens to you, you'll also be able to have a go at um, putting it back together. So if you feel this little white part here, there's one that's a little bit um, uh, more sealed than the other side. So there's one side that's quite spongy, it has like an outer hard casing on it. And one side is actually quite spongy, but the other side is like it's still got plastic on it. So that plastic side is the bit that goes into the flat side of that little attachment. So the hard plastic bit, if I can all find out which side it is, you just have to have a little bit of a play around. Yep, that's the soft side, that's the hard side. Goes into the flat part of the hole. Any second here. Looks like you have to go from the top. There we go. That's it. And then once it snaps in, you're right to go again and it's back to new. 
So I thought I'd just show you that in case anybody else is just like me and, and uh, it just slipped out. And you can put that back in. Yeah, when it comes to something going wrong, you can fix it. I'll have all the tips. <laughs> all right, so once we've got that in there, then it ends up that uh, we pop this little attachment on and we pop that up there and you can slide this in to make sure that it's securely in place. Just pause it for a second, I'll back at the instructions. Um, okay, so I had another look at the instructions there and it looks like they're already in there. So it's only if you have to replace them that you take them in or out. So that's just taken it out of that little hole and this is where the water comes out of. So you just pop that back in. So it's already in there, so you don't have to worry at this stage anything else except for attaching it with the Velcro. Now the other thing that was important with the little um, this part here, I just wet it and it actually says to wet it. You can wet it as much as you want to, it doesn't matter. I don't want to soak it, it's just a waste of time to soak it. But once you wet it, you just give it a bit of a roll like that. And then you give it a gentle squeeze and that just lets out. So when I wet it the first time, there was water that came out. And once it's wet but not dripping, that means you're right to go. So it's just wet, good, good amount, otherwise it leaves streaks on your floor. So once you attach it up again, you just line the Velcro at the back and find the spaces again, just like a little jigsaw puzzle, pop it together, and we're ready to go. Okay, so for this part here, you can see that there's a bit that's hollowed out. This is the mop section, and that's the vacuum cleaner section. So the brush is where it collects it all into that part, which is actually the same size or bigger than the original one, which I was worried about. I thought you might have had less vacuum in, but you don't. So you've got the same size vacuum cleaner section, and now we have the added mop section. So that's all the water that you use. So you can see it's not going to leave massive streaks all over your floor, which is fantastic. And you just slide it in. Okay, there the holes that end up coming through. Pop it on top and you'll hear it go. Click. And you're in. Okay, and if you want to take that off, you can see on the side that there's the little um, things that you can push. And that will just allow it to coming off. So you have to push them at the same time. So when you put it on, you don't push it. Just slide it on and click. All right, so over we go, we'll flip it over now. And I have to button one more thing. You know what else we have to do? When I took it off in the first place, it has this little arrow on the side here, an orange one. So like I said, if you want to find out things that could go wrong and how to fix them, uh, that'll be me. <laughs> but you can see on the side there's an arrow there. And what happens there is that's telling you how to take this little thing on and off. So just at the end there's a roll, and it's that roll that you want to be able to slide back on. So it's giving you the direction it goes in, you just slide it into that space and you pop it on and just make sure it doesn't flap around. So as soon as I tip that over, the whole thing was flapping and I went, oh, I've got something. And that's where the memory is. So now that's attached at the front, then you attach at the back, then we flip it over and look, no flappy bits. <laughs> Alright, so the buttons go towards the charging dock. So you pop this little buttons into the charging dock side, off you go. Now, I can't remember if this is on or off, but it doesn't matter because it will tell you in a couple of seconds. So once you hold it, if you push it once, it'll just automatically start cleaning. So you don't want it to clean yet. You just want to make sure that you've got it charged up. So we're going to hold it down until it talks. There it is. So that's just turned it on. So now at this point here, because the light is white, that means it's charged up enough, okay? If it's blue or if it's a different colour, the fact it's turned right back off again means it's fully charged. Okay, so that's where it's really quite intelligent. It works out if it needs to charge or not. And you know when you put your charger in at home and um, on your phone and they say don't overcharge it? Well, this one actually turns itself off if it's charged, so that's fantastic. So it's actually ready just to clean. So if it was on the charger and it was blue, you just leave it there until it, goes, um, until it turns white. Um, and then once it's white or off, you can just push it once and it's ready to go. You ready? Let's see how we go. So this is the first time I've used the mop. Like I said, the vacuum was fantastic. Let's see how we go with the mopping. Starting the cleaner. Starting the cleaner. All right, let's Look at that, it's 
it just maps out the edges and it actually goes around and it actually works out where the edge of your broom is. So once it's mapped out the edges, it turns around and then it fills in all the gaps by vacuuming. It's really hypnotic. It ends up that you end up watching it the whole time the first time. So we're going to watch it a little bit here and then I'll turn it off and I'll show you the results. But you can see across my floor here, it's definitely not clean. I'll just bring you into some bits. There's definitely some little bits of vacuuming that needs to be done. Okay, we've had Christmas and New Year's and I mean obviously it's been clean since then but it's more um, dirty than usual. I don't know if you can see these but we've actually got little, you know, little grease marks from people's feet and all that sort of stuff. So I'll, I'll come back in and let you know how that goes. Oh, and look, there's even a bit of pasta. If I had have known that, I probably would have picked up beforehand, but because we're on the video, I may as well leave it there and you can see how it goes. So it's just moved around the edge here, around it's gone, into the corner. It's worked out where all of the, the lounge is. Look at that, it just goes around the furniture. And in, the, in my bedroom, it actually had a cot, and it could go underneath the cot. So it actually worked out around the legs, I moved all the way round <laughs> and off it went. Fascinating for three year olds. <laughs> Just make sure they don't play with it. There's big warnings everywhere saying don't play with it. And off it goes. So it's mapping out the edges and then like I said it just goes forwards, backwards and it actually does that twice. So it goes over the floor twice and it ends up um, making it nice and clean. What do you reckon Laura? Off it goes. And it was really interesting too because when it went into my room it actually looked like it had missed a bit. Just move back a little bit, Lozzie. We'll just shut that door, sweetheart. There you go. Um, but then it ended up going back over the top of it. So that was really good. You think it misses parts, but it actually doesn't. Alright, so I'm going to tune back in when it's finished and let you know what we thought. See ya.